Not much by ourselves. Wilson, you're going to move over there by 
by yourself. You have continually talked. I have not got that. I said stop talking. Please stop talking. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. All right. Today is tomorrow. I'll be good. Watching with you is uh, uh, Jocelyn. Jocelyn watching, and then we have Tori Israel, and she says, "Let me pull it up on my phone that way I can see." So we have our, some friends watching with us, so let's show them our good behavior, right? We're going to show them how well we behave. We're not going to talk out of turn because we want ice cream, right, Wilson? So we're going to behave. So we have Serene and Sanaya. Yeah. Sanaya, am I saying that correctly? Watching with us. Sanaya. 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 I think it's Sanaya. Okay. So um, last week, does anybody remember what we talked about last week? No. I already mentioned it today. No. We were I don't really remember how if you don't remember, that means you didn't do what you're supposed to do. Because this week, we were supposed to be practicing on being better siblings, right? Oh, oh, we oh, 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 Cue cards. So every week, I'm going to give you a cue card. 
with a scripture on it that comes from service. And you have to memorize it. Those who memorize it, they get a treat when they come. You don't memorize it, that's fine. You just don't get a treat. But it's good to memorize scripture, right? I know I'm going to have a good time memorizing scripture because I have to write it 1,700 times for you. But So everybody will get one cue card. No, but the with the cue card. Um, you don't have to have the cue card, but then you don't get the candy when you come. Well, I'm not going to get a candy. Okay. So this week, we're going to be talking about a safe defense. Amir, go ahead and move over there. Go ahead. You guys are already, you already know. You two already know. If you sit by each other and I allow you to sit by each other, you two have to be on your best behavior. Because you guys like to be on your best behavior. So, Wilson, go ahead and move back there with Kamari. Yep. And Nava comes too closer to me. Kenny, move over there by Nava. I mean, Kenny and Nava switch. You're going to be with me. Yes! You have that one. If you guys start cutting up, if you guys start cutting, sit, sit right there, you can sit right there. Okay. If you guys start cutting up, then I will switch, I will split up the girls and make you guys split with the girls. No! Okay? It's up to you. You guys have the power to say who, with who you no. want to. Again, you are slowing us down. Our friends out there do not want to see me have to sit here and correct you constantly, so let's go. Okay. So she said I said her name right. It's Anaya Yam. All right? And we also have uh, Johnny in watching with us. So today we're going to be talking about a safe defense, right? And I want to let everybody know that we have Nava to thank for this lesson today because I was like, I don't know what I'm going to teach. And she was like, why don't we talk about being safe? So Nava helped me come up with our lesson. So everybody give Nava a round of applause. Yeah, don't, not, not thank Nava. You, were, you don't have to come if you don't, if you don't want. I think I'm going to start keeping check marks. No, not Anybody who I have to say their name five times is going to lose out in their ice cream. I'm just not even gonna, not even gonna correct you anymore. I'm just gonna say your name, and I'm gonna put a check mark. All right. So, um, you don't have to come. I'm not making any one of you come. So if you don't want to be here, don't come. But I'd rather you not come and not interrupt service than to come and be a distraction. All right. So, um, we already know nobody treated their siblings good because nobody remember what they're supposed to do. Um, I, I did. Uh, yeah, okay. So, life has an unusual way of coming at us sometimes. Sometimes we're like minding our own business. We're just like, doo, 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 la, 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 And then we're like tackled by an issue or a situation. Have you guys ever had that happen? Yeah. You're like, we're like, you're just sitting there like somebody comes out of nowhere and like bumps into you and knocks you on your butt. Like knocks you down. You're like, whoa! What just happened? But sometimes <laughs> life is like that, right? Sometimes you're just minding your own business and just stuff just like, you're like, where did, where did that come from? Like if my roof just fell right now, it just fell on me. I'd be like, what, what? in the world? Is like, my which is kind of funny because um, our ceiling is like made of like, it's mm -hmm. almost like stucco and it falls all the time. And when it falls, you're literally like, it's not the roof, but like the coating on the roof. And so you're like, what in the world? It, same thing. Miss, you married when I say Kenny. Sit your chair back. You can go to your room. Okay. Right? So, um, usually we talk about the opposite, right? Usually we don't talk about life attacking you. We talk about us seeing the trap, right? And then us walking into the trap. And when you, when you see a trap, what are you supposed to do? Walk on that. So here's the trap. Am I just supposed to walk like this? Yes. No. Yeah. If the trap is here, where am I supposed to walk? Around it. Yeah, but how around far around it? Looking at the legs. Am I? Yeah. Okay. Can you? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. So Kenny, is here. so Kenny said the trap is here, right? He said I'm supposed to walk around it, and then I'm supposed to come and step on it. Is that what we do with traps, yeah. guys? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. See what I Okay, so we're giving silly answers? No. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. Miss, uh, let me show you. Here's the trap. Here, the trap is here. Your theory is 
around? Yeah, you're supposed no, to go. No, you're about to go all around the no, room. No, the trap is here. You were supposed to go by well, this. The trap is here. You're supposed to go all around so the room. So, the trap, wherever the trap is, it's okay, sit down. Wherever the trap is, we're supposed to go far around the trap, right? Do not touch the trap. Don't go near it. Don't look at it. Don't smell it. Don't say hi to it. <laughs> when somebody is trying to trick you, if the life is trying to set you up, just avoid it altogether. That's how we're supposed to do it. And that's what we normally talk about. But sometimes you're in situations where you just didn't even see it coming. It just kind of fell on you. And so that's why I, I, I've seen that happen because I hear it. Can you say it louder so they can hear you? I literally I, I was watering the plants outside and the CD came from like nowhere. I thought it came from like heaven. And then it bumped me. From what? Um, Which CD? From where? I don't know where it came from. <laughs> It was a spaceship. Okay. Yeah. So when so when situations, right, bad situations come looking for you, what are you supposed to do then? When you didn't see it coming, you didn't walk in a trap, it just fell on top of you. What did you do? Raise your hand. Or if you know, if you were just minding your own business and a bad situation just kind of fell in your lap, what would you do? Mm, I like the way Ariel's raising her hand quietly. Louder. What I would do is I would ask Yeshua to help me and I would try to find a way how to get around the room. Okay, so you would pray, right? Um, Kenny. I, I would just see what it is and then walk away from it. Okay, you would see what it is and then you'd walk away from it. So you would just try and get away from whatever this problem was that's in your life. Yeah. Uh, Wilson. Um, I would uh, just walk away. You'd walk away. Kimari. I would go through it and in case we turn off the fire and come out as gold. You would go <laughs> so you would stand you would stand strong, okay? And come that out as pure like, gold. That was, you'd that go through the good. furnace. That's what you would say. That's your that's what you were going to burn it? That's what you were gonna say in there. Okay. Um, Sir, Serenity, do you have an answer? Or Sanayaya? Uh, Serene, sorry, not Serenity. Serene or Sanayaya, do you have an answer for what you would do if a bad situation just kind of fell on top of you and you were like blindsided by it? Would you maybe do some one of the things they said, like pray or walk around it, or would you go through it, like Kamari said? All right. So let's go to Timothy. Why is that myself old? Let's go to 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 2. 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 2. 2 Timothy, I said it one chapter time. 2. No. Chapter 4, verse 2. I guess I don't have to say it. 2 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 2. Chapter 4, oh. verse 2. You would have everybody lost. I can't find Timothy. 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 2. Everybody say shalom, Brother Vince. Shalom, Brother Vince. You guys remember Brother Vince? He came with us to Passover. And he had a little girl, and then he had Vincent, his son. 2 Timothy 4, what? Chapter 4, verse 2. Chapter 4. And I already found it. But you have to write that hard. I'll be quiet. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. No, he doesn't eat his wand. You were going to pick one. No, mo was up. I, I, I apologize. I, I wasn't looking, and I and I picked a group. They, both of them had their hands raised quietly. They weren't going. No, no. He was doing that. Yes, but both of them were sitting there quietly with their hands raised. It's okay. You're, you're not, he was like, you'll find a Okay. Are we ready? Yes. Thank you. Go ahead, Kamari. Perch out. Oh. Perch the word. Ah, nope. Yeah. Ah, we got it. Second Timothy, chapter four, verse two. Four. Oh, we got it. Oh wait. Yeah. You might. I didn't. I didn't. Okay. So hold on. Rewind. Stop. You guys can hold that. You didn't do anything wrong. I forgot. No, you're right. you're yeah. a type. You're no, he has it. He has it right. Stop that. So I just wanted to point out a part of this of this of this verse, right? Which is be instant in season and out of season. So that's my fault. 
So in this verse, it's actually talking about pastors, how pastors need to be ready. But all of us need to be ready. We all need to be have our mind guarded, right? So we need to be instant in season and out of season. Everybody say that. Be instant in season and out of season. Be instant in season and out of season. Oh, that was cool. Okay. So what do you think it means to be instant in season and out of season? Ariel. No, you cannot because I asked 10 minutes before class if anybody wanted water and you chose to play with the Legos. So it means to um, be ready in season and out of season everything is right. So they like the Can you say it louder so I can hear you? To be ready in So we should listen and not be grounded. I would. You will? Okay. 
It's like you guys think your parents are hard, right, Kamari? You get some long punishment sometimes, but has it ever been seventy? Excuse me, has it ever been seventy years? But I could, I could imagine. <laughs> Have you ever been grounded for seventy years? Let me. I don't want to be I'm not even sure yes. you be for I am 110 years old. <laughs> Anyways, so after they were done being punished, right? The Most High, are you listening? The Most High raised up a man named Nehemiah. Everybody said, Nehemiah. Nehemiah. He was a diligent servant of the Most High who worked to rebuild the wall of Jerusalem, the walls of Jerusalem, because it's like the whole city. There was no walls left standing. There was no brick stacked on top of another. The Most High was so angry. Have your parents ever been that mad where they just come in and like, no, this tear up all your toys? No. No. Yes. I've been mad where I've knocked stuff over. I come in and I'm like, I said clean this room. I just start throwing everything on the floor. You guys remember when I did that? I oh, come she, she got real angry to wear that single toy in her dresser to throw all the things out the Okay, okay. thank you for story time. Appreciate it. I never yell, I never fuss at my children. Mom always just smiles, even when they're being naughty. She is. Okay, right? So anyway, so he sent Nehemiah to fix the wall of Jerusalem. The problem was that there were people that did not want to see the Israelites. Can he sit up? Amir, sit up. There were people who did not want to see the Israelites get back on their feet, right? So what they did is they tried to stop them. But, um... Nehemiah and the people kept continuing to build the wall, and this made them have to take drastic measures. Who thinks they know what Nehemiah and the Israelites had to do to keep building the wall? Kill. You think they had to kill? No. Murder. Murder, which is kind of the same thing as kill. Steal. You think they were, so you think Israelites who are diligent in the things of the Almighty, who are just coming out of a 70 year punishment, are going to steal? Okay. No, no, no. What do you think? I think they think.
No, nope, that's not what he said. So he said that they were working, right? They were building the wall with one hand, and with the other hand, they had their sword and their spear. Can you guys imagine building a wall with only one hand and having your sword and your spear or having it by your side? Because they were ready to go to war. If you came over here, we're going to war with you. Everybody start building your wall and have your hand on your sword. You got to lay down. You got to lay down your concrete or your mortar. You got to put your brick. I'm there. I'm there. You're there. You finally found it. <laughs> Which is it? Let me see. No. We you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. All right. So. What song? No, it's not songs. It's after songs. All right. It's Program. after Ezra. Okay, so don't be quiet, right? Program. So these men were being instant in season and out of season. They were ready for anything. Anything the enemy was going to bring to them, they were ready to fight. And that's the way we have to live our, our lives, right? Not in the physical with the sword and shield, but in the spiritually, or sorry, uh, but spiritually with our sword and our shield. So what is your spiritual sword? Who knows what your spiritual sword is? Faith. 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 Good try, though. What did I, I had my shield earlier. What did my shield say? It didn't say faith. W-S. Which is Whitney Simon. But on there it said something else. It said uh. faith. So if my shield is faith, my sword can't be faith. Righteousness. No. Good try. No. Good try. <laughs> Salvation is faith. No faith. Peace. Not peace. 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 Not salvation. Peace. All right. Peace. You're on. You're, um, Y'all, everybody hold up your Bible. Search Bibles. Hold it up. There's your sword. Wait, our Bibles are a sword? The word of Yah is your sword. With, your, with the word of Yah, you can cut people, right? Yeah, let me see if I can cut when, people. When, ah, ah, when <laughs> sin comes, you resort to your word, right? Think, hey, 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 think about it. When things come your way, where do you go to get knowledge on how to defeat them? A book yes. say my golden sword. So when your I'm sword. Sick, when I'm tipped, Slap your hand with the Bible, or you can open it to like Exodus 20 and read, Thou shalt not steal. That would work too. Right? Exodus 20 would happen then. Exodus 20. Yeah. Oh, See, look. Exodus 20, verse 3 through 17. You've got to be kidding me. I just come in your mind. Okay, so are you What's listening? So now we're going to Hebrews. Chapter, stop cheating, Ariel. Have a seat. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. You're not sitting. Ariel. I'm going to kill the Bible. Okay. You got it? Okay. Hebrews chapter 4. So the water of Yeshua is quick and powerful and sharper than any wind. Two. Two-edged sword. So the word of Yah is sharper than a sword that has a blade on both ends. Keep going. Piercing. Piercing even, even. Even to the dividing asunder. Asunder of sword. And a mirror. And you can And the giants and mirror. And is a discerner. discerner of and is the of the heart. Right? So what is your sword? My golden one that they have Your heart. So the answer is no, 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 no. What's the <laughs> No? Are you listening? Sit down and be quiet. Your, the sword is your word. It's your, the Bible, right? The Bible is your sword. So everybody say, the Bible is my sword. The Bible, Bible is my sword. Is my sword. <laughs> right? So what is your spiritual shield? Uh, right. Faith. 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 He got it right. W faith we is always your Faith is your spiritual spirit. shield. Go to Proverbs 30, verse 5. Proverbs. I can't. Sit still. Sit in the chair. You wiggle too much. Sit down. No, it's. It's not. Proverbs, what is? If you sit down and you quit standing up every five seconds, then the bench Proverbs 30. Proverbs 30. 
Because I, that way I'm allowing the most high to take control of the situation and give me an answer. Yes, Ariel, would you like to answer? Um, I, I should add. Oh, it's okay. I, I said I was going to read it. So, in order for us to know how to react when a trap falls on us, we have to be ready. Everybody say, I gotta be ready. I gotta be ready. First Peter chapter five, verse eight. This is gonna be our actually our scripture reading. First Peter, first Peter, first Peter. So there's a saying in there's a saying in football, right? It's not in football as in soccer. First Peter chapter five, verse eight. Kamari Kamar already has it. So there's and plus you were making noises. So there's a saying in football. Not football, soccer, but football, football. Aww. You see? Miss Amir? No, that's you. You were standing. No, he, he, what's on? He kicked the thing on there when I stood up. The yes, that's he did. Amir, uh, Wilson, please keep your feet off it. But you stood up. You shouldn't have stood up. So sit in the other chair. Right. So they're saying the best offense is a good defense. The way to be able to, are you listening? Yes, ma'am. The way to combat the enemy is having a good defense. An army always has a good defense. They always have good soldiers. So go ahead, come on, read 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Chapter 5? That's what I said, Ariel, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. So be sober. Be sober. Be sober. So be sober. Be violent. Be vigilant. Vigilant because your adversary. Adversary.
So if we're not paying attention, if we're not prayed up, if we're not fasting, if we're not seeking the most high, when we smash our finger in the garage, do you think we're going to say bad things or do you think we're going to do the right thing? Yes. Do the right smash thing. our finger in the garage. Yes. I yes. told a story about when I smashed my finger in the garage, remember? No. Okay. Yeah, well, I did. When somebody throws a CD at you, are you going to do the, the right thing or are you going to do the wrong thing? Wrong. I, 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 I did the right thing. When a car comes and smashes, you weren't in the car, but someone comes and they just crash their car into your car, are you going to do the right thing or the wrong things if you're not ready? I'm going to take their car and take the so if you're not ready, you're going to do always the wrong things, right? So now I want you guys to read uh, 1 Thessalonians 5. 1 Thessalonians 5. Thessalonians. Starting at verse 2. 1 Thessalonians 5. 1 Thessalonians 5. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse, verse 6. Two. You have to read through verse 8. Two, for yourself, know perfectly that the day of the Lord shall come in as a thief in the night. Okay, hold your spot, hold your spot. So the day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. Who knows when a thief is coming to rob your house? In no the night. One. You know why he knows, right? In That's the night, though. Yeah, because nobody, that's his whole point. He's coming covert. So you got to be watching, right? Okay, keep going, Ariel. Okay. For when the age, we shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them and travel upon as a tra as, as travail upon a woman with a child, and they should not escape. Okay, so that's when a woman comes into labor. Does a woman know when she's going to go into labor to have her baby? No. No, but just kind of comes when it comes. Keep going. But ye brethren, brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. You ye are all the children of light, all the and the children of the day, we are not the night, nor the dark. So he's saying, if you are of the light, right, if you're serving the Most High, you should be aware, you should be paying attention that that day doesn't overtake you as a thief in the night. Kamari, right, sit up. Keep going, Ariel. Verse 6. Um, therefore, let us not be as you others, but let us us watch and be sober. Leave that on. And be sober, right? Keep going. For they that sleep sleep in the night and they not be awake. Okay, that they Same thing. 
I glued this one on. I didn't staple it. For their helmet, it's the same thing, right? They're going to color their helmet, and then you're, you can have it cut it out for them, or they're going to cut it out. Listen, listen, listen. So for here, for this part in the middle where you, in the middle where this part is cut out, just have them fold it in half, and then with the scissors, sit down. With the scissors, make a little snip here, and then that way they have an opening to cut out their helmet, or cut out the part where their face goes through. And that's fine, be quiet. He's not interrupting me, you are. Bouncing around and shaking the table. And then, for the strap, for the helmet, right? I, again, I just took another piece of paper, and I just made some strips, and then I stapled it to the side. So measure your child's head, and staple it so that it's according to what's going to fit them so it doesn't fall off. So I'm going to pass out the templates for all the children. Which one do you guys want to start with? You want to start with your, I'll give them both to you. Both. Stack them. Do not have them, come on, go ahead and collect the Bibles. Do not have them both out. Do one at a time. I don't care which one you color. Pass it all the way down. Please pass it down. Take one penny. No, no, pass it to me. I have We're not, you can have that one for later. No, Wilson, you have to have that one. Wilson, that's for you. I'm going to pass. You guys are two separate lines. I'm going to pass. No, that's for you. <laughs> so, that's for you. That's for you. All right, just do two little seconds here. And I'll just. All right, come. Well, Can I go look and see if there's some more? Um, Let's go to the Shabbat.